Everybody, what's going on? I hope you all staying safe. Hope you all staying well. It's Mr. Jake here. So for today's activity, uh, we're gonna make marshmallow shooters. And some of you that know me probably have done this before, but it's a fun activity. And uh, I know you all like it, so I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, for the materials, all you're gonna need is one plastic cup, uh, masking tape, scissors, and a balloon. But that's it for the materials. We're gonna get right into it, to me making it. All right, guys, I'm sorry I can't see my face, but I'm right here. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it. Um, I got my cup here, I got my uh, tape, my scissors, and my balloon, and right here. And that's pretty much all you're gonna need. So the first step, what you're gonna wanna do is simply, we're gonna wanna take the cup, and I kinda started it here so you guys can see it. And we're gonna wanna cut around the very bottom rim of the plastic cup here. And I'm just gonna finish this up, shall I show you? Um, just take the scissors and just pinch the bottom like that. And it should come right off. And yep, and when you're done, the bottom obviously is gonna fall out along with the rim of the cup. You, you can just put that to the side. You don't, you're not gonna need that anymore. The second step is you're just gonna take a balloon, just like this. And the first step is, is you're gonna twist the end right around your finger like this and tie the balloon up. Um, if you don't know how to do this, just have someone help you. It's probably the hardest part of the whole thing. Then you're just gonna snug the knot back down to the bottom of the balloon. And then you're gonna take the top of the balloon, sort of like this. You're gonna flatten it out as much as you can. And you're simply just gonna cut um, just the very top of it off. Not too much, because you do want it to have some elasticity left in it. But you are gonna wanna be able to stretch it just like this. So the bottom's gonna look like that, and the top like that. And you're gonna take your cup, yeah. Then you are going to try and stretch the balloon over the cup, just like this. And that should stay safe. Um, you can play with it just like this, but I find that it lasts a lot longer if you take some tape and tape it around the rim of the cup, just like that. So that's what we're gonna do. I also find that it works out better if you use different sections of tape instead of just one really long piece of tape. It makes it hold on tighter. All right, now that we got taped on, uh, the bottom of the cup should look just something like this. All right, and inside the cup, just like that. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull back and then you shoot your marshmallow. I got one here, give me a second. I got um, big marshmallows. It does work best with mini marshmallows. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna, I'm gonna take my scissors that I already had. I'm just gonna cut it into fours, just like that. So you have a mini marshmallow. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put that in there. And then you go like this and mm, that's a marshmallow shooter. I hope you all enjoyed. So I hope you all enjoyed the marshmallow shooters today. Uh, it's a fun, easy activity that you guys can do at home. Um, probably with materials that you have laying around. Um, please send uh, your creations and your different variants of it. I mean, you can obviously customize it, color the cup, do whatever you want, different color cups, whatever you have around the house. Um, send them to my email, we'll link that below. And um, yeah, and you also get a chance to be put into a raffle. So um, I hope you all guys are staying safe. And as always, I hope to see you real soon.